I had, I was over here at the North Channel Library. We've been giving out uh, foodstuffs uh, to people who are in need, and certainly I, I, you know, I wanted to be part of this. But let me let me just quickly say this. I have sponsored the bill to abolish the death penalty ever since I've been in the legislature. And when they, and what I will tell you is this, is that it's a great idea for us to turn Texas blue. But the reality is that I sponsored this bill when Democrats were in charge. Um, and so I think the, the problem of uh, with the death penalty is one that um, we've got a big job to do in making sure that all parties, everybody, no matter which party you're in, uh, you're going to understand that in Texas, the death penalty is only applied to poor people who are black and brown. If you have any sort of resources, uh, then the death penalty is not for you. Now, uh, I don't too often correct judges, but let me add one thing to what the judge said, and that is in Texas, one of the few places you can get the death penalty uh, and not have killed anybody. And you can do that under the what's called the law of parties. Uh, if you happen to be with someone um, and it can be shown that you were committing a felony and in the process of committing that felony, uh, a person gets killed uh, even accidentally even on an accident, you can be charged with capital murder and receive the death penalty. Uh, we've been trying to change that as well because I just think that, uh, and what we've seen in a lot of cases more recently, is how absurd it can be. Uh, in one case, uh, the person who actually had the gun and pulled the trigger uh, got a life sentence, and the person who was just along with the person, and maybe they were helping them commit the crime, uh, but in any event, they received the death penalty. Uh, and now that's the absurdity of Texas's death penalty law. Um, and so uh, I've committed myself to, to changing that, to making sure that um, the death penalty applies. If it is, it's going to apply to the rich as well as it applies to um, everybody else. Uh, but since that's not going to happen, one of the things we can do is eliminate it. Uh, and I think, as I've said before in the legislature, we simply need to give the death penalty statute in, in Texas the death penalty uh, because we don't need it anymore. Um, I have been, I was telling somebody recently that uh, while we've not been able to pass the bill to outlaw the death penalty, what it did is I think it helped, and this is with you all support, uh, it helps us create life without parole. Um, and so that happened uh, not because uh, it was in isolation, but because you all have been involved. And so I want to say to you, keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's make this fire burn brighter so that legislators begin to react. And, and the one thing I've said to them is every time you see as a legislator that Texas has executed someone, you have to take responsibility for that. Because either you created the statute or you didn't do anything to make it go away. And since you didn't, uh, didn't do that, uh, for Texas who have murdered somebody, uh, you know, given them capital punishment, you're one of the culprits in that. Uh, and I think the law of parties ought to apply to them just as it applies to everybody else. Uh, and so, but anyway, thank you all uh, for what you do. Um, and I want to say I'm looking forward to working with you come the next legislative session. And I will look forward to you all coming back to the legislature. And let's make this a reality because I think in some cases, Texas has become almost the laughing stock in the nation when it comes to the death penalty because uh, everybody knows that we're the death penalty capital of the world. Uh, we execute more people in Texas in one year than probably most of the states combined uh, do in any one year. And so to me, that's a travesty, and I'm going to do everything I can to change it, but I can't do it without you all's help, and I'm looking forward to it.
thank so. Thank you all very much for this opportunity. Um, and thank you for what you do. And God bless you all and be safe.